Oh, hi, everyone. How are you all? Um, huge, huge congratulations to Jules for um, getting the narration um, jobs. I think that this is something that we're going to be able to watch blossom beautifully. Um, she has such a beautiful accent and she articulates so well and she's a great person and she has great empathy and um please follow her link to the book she narrated so that she gets the credit when i tried to use that link it did not go through to my personal audible and so i made the mistake of purchasing on its own and it led me to another book with the same title and I was sure not to get that one. I made sure I got the one that was narrated by her, but I fear she is not going to get the credit because um, I didn't follow her link. So she is trying to find out why that link isn't going to people's active Audible accounts. Um, and she will be on that. So please try to follow it. And if it goes to your active Audible, perfect. If not, um, please um, let Jules know that it's not going through because we want her to get all of the credit possible so that the author can um, know that we support Jules and um, and her talent. Her talent is is so, so beautiful. I, I mean, I like I say, I, I could listen to her read the shampoo bottle. Um, now, the only problem is, is that I was trying to listen to the book and her voice relaxes me so much that I did go to sleep, which was a good thing because I had a, a rough day yesterday. So I was pretty nervous that I wasn't going to be able to get any sleep. But um, as I was listening to the book, um, I, I apparently fell asleep. But I love the way that um, Jules channeled her nephew with the same accent that the author requested. And you can just imagine this little boy speaking the words that she is speaking in the um in the form of the author putting the words into a little boy as well and um so on that note we love our beautiful jewels we love the good work that she's doing now i have something very important to discuss okay there's a fucking idiot on the loose okay i am disgusted that somebody could be so fucking stupid and be able to turn on the internet. Okay. The channel that I'm referring to is called Beautiful Victory. It has no avatar as a face. It says it has two subscribers. It has never done any videos. But the person behind it is so fucking stupid that we need to figure out what to do. Okay. This person's so fucking stupid that they went on LBL's page last night and said, Oh, that YouTuber from the UK that was giving you all the trouble has been arrested with other YouTubers. They're all in jail. And LBL is like, what? I know nothing of this plays into the bullshit, right? But I don't even think the LBL could stoop to that level because she was like even shocked that this person was that fucking stupid because number one, as Jules put up the video I sent her, you can tell that even the person named Jennifer who saw this blubbering idiot come across her feed bitching about how she couldn't and she wouldn't work a job anymore that was eight hours a week because of her pain. Okay. Jennifer said, I work with four herniated discs and you can't handle a seasonal job eight hours a week. How pitiful. Well, that inflamed Lardo. She was triggered. She was in tears. She started screaming and ranting at her and she did not let go of Jennifer for a very long time. Now, Jennifer didn't play. Jennifer went and made some hilarious videos about Lardo and it is funny. Okay. That's all that Jennifer did. Now, what Jennifer did arguably is 10 times as bad as what Jules did. Okay. 
all Jules did. Jules was once friends, not friends, but, you know, Facebook friends, uh, Facebook, YouTube friends with Lardo because Lardo started her virtual virtue signaling, trying to get viewers that had fibromyalgia. In the beginning, that was how Lardo did this because Lardo had been kicked off of Periscope, Facebook. Um, God, I can't remember all of the other channels that shut her down um, for her scams and lies. And so she got on YouTube and started um, with the fibromyalgia saying that she was a fibro fighter and that fibro fighter, she was doing hashtags and that's how Jules found her. And Jules believed that this woman also had fibro, but I'm referring to LBL as a woman. I, I do apologize if I misgendered her. Um, but anyway, um, one day, Lardo was saying something and she was very upset. And Jules said, drive safely. That's what Jules said. Jules said, drive safely. Now, as you just saw in the video that Jules just did, if anybody dares to say anything about how irresponsibly Jewel, irresponsibly LBL is driving because she's upset. She's ranting. She's vlogging. She's trying to read the chat because she wants to make sure she doesn't miss anybody trying to give her money. She doesn't have a hands-free device for her cell phone. She leans it on things and it's going all over. She's not paying attention at all in her periphery of what's going on. And there's been a suspiciously large amount of wrecks that happen in front of behind and around Lardo that um, hmm. she always manages to be seeing them, but doesn't realize she probably caused all of them. I mean, I, I can't even imagine all the melee in her aftermath when she goes through with her be the love bug flailing out of it, her fat ass flailing out of the freaking little tiny car. But anyway, um, Jules said that Jules said drive safe. Okay. That's it. She said drive safe. And for that LBL has continued to viciously slander and attack her and attack her children and her husband and say despicable things, despicable things about Jules. Jules said, drive carefully. And this fucking nutbag named Beautiful Victory went on, I'm going to say this again because it's so fucking unbelievable, went on LBL's channel last night and said, hey, you know that woman from the UK who was giving you all that trouble? Yeah, she's arrested with a bunch of other YouTubers. <sighs> and LBL didn't know what she was talking about. And LBL must have done a search like I did. And LBL said, no, I don't know that other woman, that the the other woman who is arrested in the UK is, is named Natalie, from what I understand. Natalie, I don't remember her last name. So LBL did say, I don't know that Natalie person. And so Beautiful Victory was like, oh, well, I thought you said that somebody from the UK was giving you all that trouble. That's so terrible that they these people do these things to you on your live. It's despicable. Um... I'm not sure how this idiot got everything so fucked up and backwards, but it's disgusting to me. And sadly, there's nothing that Beautiful Victory, with their two subscribers and no videos, has done that YouTube would see that their channel should be removed and reported and removed. However, I'm going to try and I would ask that others do too because this person is too stupid to be on the internet i don't know if there's a button for that i i know that there's you know one for scams suicidal threats blah blah blah, blah. i don't know that there's a, a choice for being too fucking stupid to be on the internet but there sure should be because this well, honestly this person has obviously been watching lbl for long enough that she knows that there's somebody in the UK that LBL doesn't like. But for her to mix it up with this other issue, I, I'm i so mad to, that I'm disgusted. 
disgusted. Like I say, I don't think that institutions should have been shut down in this country. I think they needed reform, but I think there's a lot of people roaming around that are that stupid and idiotic that they need to be in a home and, and treated well. I'm not saying that they should ever be mistreated because of their mental illness, but some people should not be out among the public like this dumb fuck. So I went and I tried to figure out how in the hell beautiful victory could confuse this. The jewel said drive safe. And that this fucking idiot would believe that that would warrant a person to be arrested. And that what she said is despicable. Okay. I went down this and I found out that there's all this stuff and there's all these different creators that are involved. And basically it sounds like a mentally unhinged person pretty much immersed herself into, um, what's his name? Chris Lee. I don't know that guy who seems like he's gay, but he has kids. Uh, Chris Lee. He has a show with his kids, whatever. Um, and Josh Duggar. And I think, I don't, I don't want to say too many other names. Uh, you can, you can try if, if you Google, um, YouTuber UK arrested harassment, you'll find what I'm talking about. I think, I think it has to do with Tati and Tati's lawyers and whatnot. And this person committed such acts as, um, actual harassment, torture, stalking, and, um, swatting. Um, swatting is when somebody falsely calls the authorities and says, um, a series of words in which would cause the SWAT team to arrive at a person's address and bust the door down and come in with guns a She swatted somebody. I, th I think she swatted um, Ted Chrisley and did like some CPS reports or whatever. I mean, we're talking that this person um, did some really really intense bad things to some really big names, big, big names with people who, um, who are attorneys, who are celebrities, etc. This person really, and I, I, I believe the person, I believe the person who is arrested is named Natalie. Um, and like I say, there's a lot of people involved in this one big thing. But how the fuck did beautiful victory confuse Jules saying, drive safe to that? There's some fucking idiot out there that has a channel named Beautiful Victory that believes that somebody should go to jail for saying drive safe to LBL. Okay. LBL has said things to the effect that she wants Jules to have her face ripped off by a dog. She wants her to be disfigured. When LBL got a bunch of new subscribers by trying to be political LBL, she um, did the hashtag with um, George Floyd, may he rest in peace. And she started talking about George Floyd. And um, she waited till she had a bunch of people. And she said that she has no problem with what the cop did. Just who the cop extinguished. She wishes that it was Jules that the cop would have killed. She had no problem with the fact that a policeman took the life of an innocent person. She just wanted to choose who it was. And she wanted it to be Jules because Jules dared to say, drive safe. Okay? So... I don't know. I'm just disgusted. I'm disgusted that somebody could be that fucking stupid and confuse the two. I mean, have enough brain cells to think that that's the same thing and spread that information, but be so terribly twistedly wrong. I am disgusted. Disgusted. Um... 
like I say, it, it really upset me because how can you be that dumb? I guess, I don't know. I, I don't know. I think that this is really showing the the quality or lack of quality of the people who are enabling LBL. Um, as we saw in the live that um, I requested Jules review and she did so beautifully. Um, what had happened then was that LBL had gotten a job um, during the pandemic and she did so because she found out that unemployment was giving the enhanced money from the federal government. So LBL was trying to be an opportunist and trying to keep a job long enough that she would qualify for unemployment and get the enhanced money from the federal, the federal pandemic relief. Okay. So she lasted three weeks. Now that might've been a whole 24 hours, unless it was the third week when she called in sick because the job was eight hours a week. Okay. So we see LBL with her makeup on and her shirt and somebody suggested that she was a greeter at Bath and Body Works. And I think that could be very, very accurate. I, I believe I believe that she's on to something right there. So LBL was already dressed and everything and ready to go. So why didn't she just go to her damn job that was going to be eight hours that fucking week? Okay. Because we know that she has enough energy and no pain to lurk around the Dollar Tree and the mall and everywhere else that she goes so she can avoid her animals all day long and go and get shit and go and bother the people that are working on commission so she can buy their crap and then go and return it the next day. So then the store takes an entire loss unless she brings her shoplifting kit along and just takes it in which she still returns it. She just returns it without a receipt. So then she profits and the store loses and loses. Okay. LBL alone. How much do you think she costs our, our, um, taxpayers a year how much do you think she's cost our government to this point in her life she's been on full disability for more than two decades full disability was for her mental conditions which she came very close to, to admitting in that live when somebody said that, oh, they're embarrassed because they can't work because their mental condition. She said, oh, there's nothing wrong with that. That she had bipolar for a while. And uh -huh. yeah, she got her damn disability back when everybody was getting it for being bipolar. And uh, she had a few friends who were in high places or relatives, as it may be. And um, anybody was getting it for having bipolar back then. It was just check a box. There you go. It was the 80s. The system wasn't over bogged down by these people who will never work another day in their life and have everything handed to them. And they're enabled and they're coddled and they're cheating the government. Um, but she will not admit that she's on disability for her mental disorders. So she tries to say that she's on it for her fibro and Epstein-Barr. And it's not true. Anybody who has the misfortune of having fibro knows damn well that you're not going to walk in and be able to get disability for having fibro. You must have, um, yeah, I, I don't even know how you qualify these days for disability. Um, I, I've seen so many people who deserve it and who have their doctors not wanting them to work and whatnot, including myself that cannot get disability. So I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole right now, but, um, she, so she's on full of disability. She set up her son to look like a behavior case so that she'd get disability for him as well. She, when she divorced Goonie, which she got Goonie in this country, how did she get his green card, right? Who paid for that? So I don't know that Goonie has gainful employment. So how much does Goonie take? I'm just wondering. I'm just putting it out there. And then... So Goonie and her did not have enough money for insurance for their son. So got the government paying for her husband, herself, and her son, right? For the past 20 years. 
And um, so she had SSI for herself, for her son, her full medical, in which we just saw her have a cold and go to an, the emergency room. I don't think she went to an urgent care clinic because they wouldn't let her in. Uh, went to the emergency room a minimum of three times that she admits. So how many times did you go to the emergency room over the last two decades for things that are not emergent? How many surgeries how, that she malingered to have? Um, how many drugs has she gotten out of the system? Um, full medical, full food stamps. She's on Section 8, so that covers more than 80% of her rent. This is what you and I work for. This is what the taxpayers work for is to pay somebody like her to be on a live and bitch and bitch and bitch about how she can't. No, the words are she won't. And it's because she doesn't have to because our government has a lot of people like her on it that unfortunately don't deserve the benefits they're given. It's because their fucking attitude that needs to be changed. She could work if she was forced to work like she can work and she does work when she wants something out of it. If you notice the job she gets, she quits right when the training period is over. So she loves it when she's being trained because she's being paid um, to to read the information, be left in a room with a computer to do, you know, little um, assignments and, and modules and whatnot and, and to have somebody with her with training wheels, you know, so somebody with her so that she can blab at and act like she's best friends with and sit there and talk about how they're going to be best friends. And they're going to do this and that. And they're just like, you know, be a nice to her because she's a trainee and they're trying to you know, get her to stand on her own two feet. The day or the day after she has to stay on her own two feet, she calls in and quits. So that costs the system because then that company has onboarded her and onboarding an employee is extremely expensive. Um, so I, I don't know. I mean, is, is she our million dollar baby a year? Do the taxpayers pay a million dollars a year for Lardo and they have for the last 20 years? I'd say it's pretty fucking close. Um, when she had Burke, you know, she was older, had to have a C-section. Um, I'm sure that she was in the doctor every fucking day when she was pregnant. I, I, I'm sure the labor nurses that had to deal with her still talk about it to this day. And the poor doctor who had to put on his miner's helmet to go and try and check her cervix. I bet you that's why she had to have a C-section. They were going, fuck that. I'm not sticking my arm up there. I'll never get my arm back. Fuck that. Just give her a C-section. We'll cut into one of her rolls. See if we can find a live child. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so anyway, now that she's supposedly going back to school, um, people have said that they think she's going to school so she can get the money. Now, the way that financial aid has reformed, they've stopped the system of, you know, you get your financial aid handed out to you in that first week. The way they do it now is um, you ha they've, they cut the semester in like halves. So let's say that each semester is 12 weeks. I know I'm not saying semester, right? I don't know I'm not saying the right one, but it's not a quarter. I think it's a semester, trimester. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't think right now. Um, but either way, what it is is that you have to get through the first part of that. So like when I was finishing up my bachelor's, it was 12 weeks. And so you had to get through the sixth week, passing all of your classes being in good standing before you would have your financial aid released to you in that week seven or eight. So she would have to stay in college and be in good standing to get the money. Can she do it? We don't know. We know that she was sitting there getting her new backpack and water bottle and bags for college. And I, I, oh God, can you imagine what she's going to be like if she goes? She's going to sit there and be, have her hand up the whole time. Pick me, pick me, pick me. And then she's going to be sitting there talking over the instructor, giving all of these stories of this and that, hanging after class, telling the instructor how the instructor could um, talk better. And basically she's going to take over the fucking class and then she's going to be running up trying to befriend everybody. And they're going to be running from her in her ridiculous crap because, you know, she had to go and get you know, the other organizer, you know, she had it going, you know, she saw somebody in the doctor's office probably who had an organizer because she was like, oh, yes, I need one that's pen gear, that brand. 
you know, from Walmart. When she was rummaging through going, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, 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 Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, because, because what, planners sometimes don't list the days in order, like, what was that, and she's fondling everything, I, I don't know, I, I can't imagine what she's doing, um, but, There is something else that's coming to mind. There are um, community groups that help people who are elderly or on SSI move. And I'm thinking that that's probably how she just got this move funded. I don't believe for a second that she paid $800 for them to move. I think that they were government subsidized movers and that's why she was sitting there trying to kiss up to them and thinking they were cute and they were going to be her boyfriend and and you know she thought she was getting all this male attention and everything i think that it was it was a funded thing and now do i think she tipped them i think so i think she tipped them do i think she tipped them each 80 bucks i don't think so um, but yeah, when she said she's going to go get them coffee, yeah, it's because she left because they were asking her to help do this or tell them this and that. And then when she was complaining about how hard the move was and how she had to go and hang her jewelry and she had to go and buy some crap to hang it up. Come on. Like I say, that's the biggest thing you did. You put 92 new holes in the wall with your ugly fucking jewelry. That tired you out? She had to lay it down like I said she looked like Einstein, but somebody else said she looked like George Washington. I think that's a little more accurate because the hair was oddly curled to the side and everything. It's really weird. And then it looks like what she had done is she flattened the boxes and she put the boxes around the patio. I think that she must have a patio on the top and she's too afraid of doofus and Pom Pom jumping off because they'd prefer that to be in with her. And so she put the fucking broken down boxes all around. And can you imagine what that looks like? You imagine this nice apartment complex. And well, whatever it is that she has, okay? Um, she says it's gated and whatnot. So whatever it is, it accepts her Section 8, okay? So... She has this deck and she puts, she lines it with cardboard, broken boxes. Can you imagine, like I say, she's going to have, okay, how many, okay, how many, let's, let's make a bet. How many noise complaints and how many complaints do you think she's going to get in this first week alone? Because management is going to see those broken down boxes and looking like trash and they're going to tell her to take that shit down. Number one, and she's going to be all mad. She's going to be like, well, I don't want my dogs to jump off. <laughs> Do you want my dogs to jump off? <laughs> you know, and I mean, she just had to get a top floor apartment. So that means that the poor soul who lives underneath her is going to be subjected to her elephant clomping around like she's a toddler. And this is the thing is that she, you know, had to sit there and push and push and push to get the knee replacements and act like her being 500 pounds had nothing to do with her blowing out her knees, you know. Oh, yeah, nothing to do with that, right? And then she has to act like that's one of the reasons she's disabled. It's because she's, has, she's had knee replacements. No. When you get a replacement joint, that takes care of the osteoarthritis, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And if you do your physical therapy correctly, etc., that is not adding to immobility at all. That's why they did the replacement or they wouldn't have done the replacement. So because of that, though, she blames that on why she walks around like a fucking toddler. So she's toddling around and she'll be muttering things under her breath. Like we know, jewels, 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 jewels. Oh, yeah. Why don't I turn on my air conditioner? I turn, oh, yeah. What a great idea. Oh, yeah. Why don't I work? Uh, jewels. So she'll be toddling around, screeching around, screaming at the dogs, being drunk, pulling down her pants and screaming all at two in the morning on an Ambien, Xanax, Flexeril, Tramadol, 
Vicodin, Jameson induced rage. Those poor neighbors. Those poor, poor neighbors. People are going to be moving out of Arizona and the, the whole state. They're going to be getting the fuck out. So, like I say, if you all can figure out a way to report beautiful victory. Beautiful victory. What an odd thing for somebody so fucking stupid. Um, We got to, they just, they can't, they, they, they can't be on the internet. That's just, no, no, they got to, no. They can't. They can't be on the internet. Um, so what do you guys think she's going to school for? What do you think this is about? Oh, and then she said she had a job, too. That's funny. So she said that, oh, yeah, I had to move because this is close to my work and my school. Maybe she just forgot who she was talking to. And that's what she's been telling the people that um, rented it to her. Is that She said, oh, yeah, this is close to my work and my school. And then she just slipped up and forgot. Because we all know she doesn't have that job. Where would her job be? She can't have a job that's more than eight hours a week because she couldn't do the job for eight hours a week, even being a greeter. I don't know. I don't know. Your thoughts, please? Um, once again, thanks so much for supporting my channel. Thank you so much for all of the love and positive energy that you send me. Um, the conversation on my channel and Jules is just beautiful. The engagement, people really waking up and starting to see things for what they are. This is a whole um, period of, of um, do I dare I say, wokeness about LBL. People are really starting to get it and and there's a good conversation going on in the in the um in the comments. So again, thank you so much and I'll look forward to your thoughts and you all have a happy Sunday tomorrow, all right? Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.